So I get a lot of people asking me, Charlie, how do I patch a hole in the drywall? Well, I don't have any holes in my drywall and most of my house is plaster. So I came out to the garage. But Charlie, there's no holes out there. Just wait. You know, sometimes you just want to smash things. And today feels like a good day. Oh, now I got to hold the patch. All right, first thing we're going to have to do here is square the hole off. And my little square here. And let's go right there. And let's go nine inches. And to about seven. Seven there, nine there. Okay, now we just got to cut it out. There are several ways to cut out a hole in the drywall, but the easiest, least messiest, just a knife. And then just keep going. And once you get done messing around with that, you go and grab your multi-tool because it takes too long and I don't want to do it like that. And I'm in the garage, so I don't care if I make a mess. I would highly recommend getting one of these multi-tools. These things are fantastic for cutting drywall. You can also cut trim, 2x4s. They just do a great job. Real simple, real clean, don't make a big mess. Definitely should have one in your uh, assortment of tools. Nice to see that my garage is insulated. All right, so that's done. Now we got to get a piece to fit it. So there's one of two ways you can do this. You can just put it up here, snug it in the corner, get your mark there, get your mark there. I did block the camera. But we can see that this hole is square as I like it to be, my drywall cutoff piece is not square. But we know it's seven by nine, so I can just cut a seven by nine piece. All right, so I'm gonna pretty much use the same technique I did to uh, square the hole off on the wall. Take it and draw your first L of seven to nine inches, your other L connect to them. Then you're gonna score, and then cut the back side, score, cut the back side, score, cut the back side. All right, so now we got our piece cut. Should fit like a glove, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, look at it just slide in there. Tight, but not too tight like OJ's glove. We all know he did it. So... How do we attach it? Do we just put some tape, some pink spackle that turns white when it's done? How do we attach it? There's nothing there. I got you guys. Don't worry. Hold on. So what you're going to do is cut yourself a backer board. Kind of, it's probably a little too big, but that's okay. It'll work. Just stick it in here. Slide it there. Put a couple screws in it to hold it. Don't drive it too hard, you just want to put a nice little dimple in the old drywall there. Bosch does offer a dimpler bit. It works alright, but there's only a couple screws here, so I just knocked it out with a normal bit. You could have put two here, but I think we cut the, the patch nicely. Now we put our piece in there. Maybe. All right, so 
You want to take your patch piece. Let me point out that I didn't check my drywall. <laughs> this is quarter inch drywall. The patch is half. Same technique. We'll keep going. It's going to bump out a little bit, but you would use the same technique to do yours. Make sure you got the right size drywall. See, you can see it hangs over a little bit. That's all right. Don't do what I do. Just do as I say, not as I do. Right? I think. All right. So I used a little tape here and this stuff's self-adhesive. You can use any kind of tape you'd like. It's all about the mud at the end anyways. All right. So it's time to mix some mud. We got some uh, hot mud. Easy sand 20. You like to get it to, I don't know, everybody has their own thing of consistency. Some people like sour cream, peanut butter, uh, you can go ice cream. I would have liked to see mine a little more wet. It was a little heavy, but... We got our mud. It's a little heavier than I'd like, but I don't have any more water out here. Just going to take it. Get it on there. Booger in there. Oh, gross. So, what you're trying to do here is get the mud as smooth as possible so you don't have to sand that much. It makes the second coat a lot quicker to apply. Or if you can get it done in one. Alright, so we're going round two on the old mud. Got 12 incher. Try to fan this big old bump out. So what I'm trying to do here is just get rid of my bump since my drywall is a quarter inch wider than the original. I'm trying to get it as smooth as, oh yeah, look at that cream with peanut butter. Makes you a little hungry. And we're on to the third outfit. Had to let that mud dry. Came out here to sand it down a little bit. Try to get it nice and smooth. Like I said, I have that hump. So it's, it's going to take a little more work. You guys at this point should be, you know, sand and then just prime and paint. I'll have to continue on my journey of patchwork here. Kind of looks like I got a mullet here, which is, I don't know, a little Joe Dirtish. But, you know, I think I'm pulling it off. It's like a high class Joe Dirt. And a sanding machine at that. Now, if this was in the house, I might go another layer just to make it perfect. You can see I kind of got to sand a little too much here on a high spot on this hump. So I'd probably come in here and put a little more right here. But, you know, if you use the right size drywall, which I have mentioned, you should be fine. You don't have to go crazy. One coat, maybe two, if you want to get... All right, so it's nice and smooth. I do have a little ridge here still. I mean, trying to blend in that half inch drywall into the quarter inch is a process. I think you guys will get it in just probably one, maybe two. Uh, I'm going to do a third one. I'm probably not putting it in the video. I'll prime it. Yeah, I probably won't paint it just because it's a garage. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if I covered everything. I do have some other DIY videos if you guys like to watch them. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Like and subscribe.